Hello and welcome back to Darksiders with yours truly Lord of the the Mad. Hi Lord of Closest Harbinger, it's Biffling level 22, boxes man and get this fucking dude that's 13. And all around neutral guy. Now, as some of you might remember, I ended the last episode here wondering how I could get up there. Which I did realize later on because I once again tried to record the thing. But for some reason, the game decided that it required to crash instead. Once I had already, you know, kind of moved pretty far on from this situation. It's a bit frustrating to say the least. Alright. What the size so hard? There we go. Fight them all. I'll chop them up when I'm done. Oh. Another one. Come on, everybody! Dead! Yay! If I remember correctly, if I touch the middle pillar, I get hurt. I cannot confirm that for my enemies. But I do get hurt when I do that silly maneuver when I actually, you know, do killing maneuvers. Oh. It would be ever so lovely if I could act if there were actually, you know, multi-kill animations. Like there are for some other games. Right, um, since I have already done this before, I kind of know what I'm doing. But you know, kind of makes things more boring, but at least I will, you know, get further into the, in the thing. Do it there. In this episode than I had originally planned. Then, to be fair, than I originally had. Because, you know, doing it the second time, yeah? Lower that. Eee. There we go. Let me throw that over there. Then, uh, apparently, something silly I hadn't previously realized is that apparently I move higher than the blades. Wait, no, we don't. I guess it's in the other tower then. This one doesn't seem to have the same advantage. Also, as some of you may have remembered. Oh no, 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 no. no. That conclusion I made in the other attempt at this. Undying. Ah, last time I just got health. I think this is a lot better than just health. Um, well, yeah, stick it over there, sure. I kinda like the idea of not dying. Can be pretty useful, I believe. Ah, that's the action. I was hoping that this was the action. Nope. No. Now in this situa situation though, the only thing I can do is lower the chronosphere. There's nothing else of interest up here, I don't think at least. So let's just come down here. Wrong weapon. Still the wrong weapon. There we go. Then, boom, boom. What? Still? Was it some other tower then? Because I'm quite sure it, in some of these, one of these towers, I did move higher than the intended surface. Hmm. Ah, oh well. Oh. This is good, this is good. Get moving. Move, 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 drop. 
There we go. Bye bye. Ah, there is one garden up here somewhere. So obviously I'm going to try and punch him off. Get the book. This might. Bye bye. There we go. Good. This will deactivate this uh, drill, I suppose. And allow me to venture below the earth. You know, it's kind of cool. Except for water. This water. And there's also this magnificent artifact here, which I have no idea how I could access. If my suspicions are correct, there is a chance that that platform over there is the other side of the teleportation thingy that we saw, that I assume is the teleportation thingy that we saw earlier. Also, fishies! Die fishies! I don't have time for you. I'm at the artifact at the bottom of this water. So, bye bye. Apparently, there's still one of these fishies trying to haunt me. But that's okay because I have an artifact. Artifact soldier. Given to the members of the Legion or whatever. Stuff like that. And then we make our own in this direction. Which, if I remember correctly, put me in some really nice situations. Oh, did it? No, that was earlier. That's way earlier. Never mind. That was last episode. Anyway, something I consider rather odd is the fact that. I have the option to jump up there into that blue ice box over there. And I will show you exactly what it does in just a bit. So that's nothing to worry about. Um, let me just get a pistol that's quicker. Up. Then I hop onto here and then I jump onto that side. Which you know is cool and all. You know, getting over here, punching this, you know, and then technically I guess I could slow time, but I really am uncertain what the use of it all is, because, well, I assume technically it's meant for the purpose of me being able to pass through there, uh, but there's the slight misunderstanding there that I can actually aim one of those bastards and uh, you know take it out before it tries to devour me which you know kinda ruins the point of it all which is what I did last time but I didn't I just uh, decided to show how it's actually apparently meant to be done this time Another thing I did last time was actually explore to the right over there. Which helps me completely refill my health, so I'll do this fight beforehand, I believe. It's all birdies though, so it's punch party. Woohoo! Bajan, 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 Warlock. What? Where? Hey. Clock in, clock in. There we go. That's more like it. I kind of really like the ability to just jump punch people like this. So jump punching like this is cool too. Because it allows me to play basketball with a... Angel-like being. Oh. 
think it's time to do that there. Brew up a nice little storm. And then, of course, pick. Oh, that died. Never mind. Get that one then. Punch this guy to death. Or, you know, block his wings and call it a day. That's also fun. Whee! And then, uh, moving on to the point at hand, which was that there is a lifestone shard here, which should completely restore my health, which means I will actually not have to use my undying immediately. Which, you know, is kinda nice. There is also a little thingy over there, which I believe requires me to have an item which I could, you know, use to catch onto that and then I could go and get that, uh, which I assume might be an epistle armor piece or an enhancement or anything along those lines Enchantment even, yeah, I think this game has enchantments It's magic bitches, magic Also there's money there, which I absolutely forgot about Until I noticed it again me. Gets the monies. And of course, then I'm going to jump onto this thing. Go up here. And dive into the waters. The sweet abyss. Yep. That's how things are now. Right. Now, 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 now. Get these fishes as well. Eee. Okay. So, up this wall, as soon, should lie my future at this today. But, um, is there anything in the water? I think the game crashed for me while I was in the water. Which was four minutes later than it is now, so, you know, that should give you approximately an idea of how long it took me to figure these things out beforehand. But, you know, once you've done things before, they're always a bit easier than they were the first time. Especially when it's still fresh in your mind what you just had done. Though, admittedly, I did take a small break for foods and or... YouTube videos too much. But yeah. Oh, this guy. He looks awesome. Is he one of those guys that strip dances? Because it looks like he might be one of those guys that strip dances. As in, one presses as I damage him further. Where are they? Over there. Oh, I see now. I didn't even realize it at first that I actually have to go up there to kill the bastard. Well, I can do that. Can I punch him down? Nope. He's kind of very powerful. Well, there's always this. Okay, not as powerful as expected anyway. But at least this gives me the ability to take care of, well, everyone. Except for this guy. And that guy. But, you know, that's okay. Stay dead. These dogs still are looking for a master. <laughs> Who wants to dance with the horseman? Because this this horseman, he has moves. Everybody was going for fighting. <laughs> oh, I cannot actually sing. Never mind. That's it's more of a four room blitz anyway. Whoop. 
one. I think the scythe might be the more valuable tool in this situation. Though I suppose I can punch them down like this as well. Which is cool. Bye. I gotta love doing that. Because I may have a to do already. It's kinda of amazing. Also, I keep forgetting there are destructibles which give me money. And in half. Thank you. That is a good fight. <laughs> Orange juice. It's good. Delicious. I don't tell you that I have orange juice. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, uh, so... Now, I suppose I'm supposed to use this door. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it would. Alright. Moving on. Ah. An actual auto save spot. That's kinda nice. Alright. Off you go. You too. Goodbye. Nice knowing you and all. I sometimes feel this punching might be a bit overpowered. If you have some idea of what you're doing. And honestly, an inkling will do. Me. Whoa, almost fell down. That is a fate reserved for my enemies, not me. Ooh. Come on. Bye. I like that most of these enemies actually are, you know, capable of falling to that trick. Hmm. Well, that was exactly what I required, wasn't it? And suddenly... Silence. Until another roar. But the noise from outside is no longer here. Alright, let's heal a little. Because these are, you know, something I can heal with. Despite the best attempt to hurt me, it will not work unless I'm not ripping the wings out, which I was doing. So, kill animations are mighty fine. Might be fine. And let me guess, I don't actually have a chronosphere. Nope. So we don't know what it's actually planning, so I'm going to jump over here. And move on with my day. Of course, I can also try to shoot it. That won't help unless I have explosive rounds from Saints for Free. As previously mentioned. Whee! Because in Saints Row 4, the explosive rounds were strongly nerfed. Quite a bit. Ooh, hello. Goodbye. Nice meeting you, sir. I hope you don't mind that I don't want to be eaten alive. Because, you know, that's generally not fun. 
But anyway, let's just, you know, calmly step over here. Is there any other chests or stuff around here? Uh, not visible anyway. Ah, it's going to take him a bit of time to turn around, I believe. So I'm just going to, you know, do that thing of casually walking in here. Oh. But it was already on safe ground! What? Oh, well, I guess that happened. Oh well. Kind of silly, but. Yep. Alright, um, I'll thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.